Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. I should really be saying welcome back to myself considering it's been what maybe three years since my last video and yeah but I'm back um because what else is there to do right like we're all quarantined and it's been like a month now since we've been like on quarantine and with that being said um I decided to come and do some review videos on some items that I've ordered you know I kind of got sucked in and brainwashed into ordering online like everybody else now um of course based on the title I'm pretty sure you already know what this package is but um or you know where it's coming from I ordered um a package from Kitty Candy. Um, Kitty Candy is a all natural company that uh, produces um, or sells items that are specifically for feminine hygiene. So here is my package. I ordered it on April 12th and I got it yesterday, which was Friday, April 17th. So it only took five days to come, which is pretty good right now considering packages are delayed. I will link everything below as far as the website and what I have. So what I ended up getting was um, the kit they have a monthly maintenance kitty kit that's what it's actually called and it's kind of a collection of a few of the staple items that they sell um or like your basic needs items so and it has pretty much all the items that i wanted that i would have purchased separately but when i saw that it came in a kit that's what i got my box came with um you know it's no tissue paper or anything like that and it, it just came with my little drawstring baggie inside so that's how it came as soon as you open the box you can smell like a very sweet aroma so this is the bag so the first thing I'm going to pull out is this test strip it's called the kitty tester and what this is um is a test strip that um you can use to, to figure out your ph balance to see if you're what you know if you're in the normal ranges of your ph balance so it's not a pee strip you don't urinate on this don't urinate on this um but it's like kind of more like a swab type of situation and then there is a chart that you would re you know use it to determine where you are and so to make sure your ph balance is good the next thing is a um feminine wash it's called kitty candy wash it's a foam wash um 100% natural. That's the other thing about these products is everything that you read in the ingredients is things that you've heard before, things that you pr can pronounce, and it's not a long list of, of, of ingredients. Um, it does not have a smell, really. I did open this before to smell it. It doesn't really have a smell um, because, again, everything is you know, 100% um, natural. Um, there's no dyes, there's no perfumes or anything like that. It's hyperallergenic, sulfate free, um, and everything like that. And it has an antibacterial formula. So um, it just smells like a cleanser, like some type of a cleanser, a really light uh, cleanser, but it doesn't smell chemically or anything like that. And then the next thing is the, um, now this is a suppository. It's a two day treatment suppository called the Kitty Candy, the balancer. It's called the balancer. And what it is, is um, you would use this after your cycle when you want to try to just get everything back balanced. Again, kind of in addition to the tester to make sure everything's going back to, to your normal like levels. Um, it's again a suppository, so it goes up inside at night. Um, you only get two, two of them in here. This is what they look like. They're already pre-filled. You only get two in the box. Um, it helps with any lingering odors or lingering um, discharge and stuff like that now but this also is good for if you do have an issue with your pH balance so if you if your pH balance is off um, or you're having some minor um, discomfort or irritation this will this will be um, useful for that as well so kind of has a dual purpose thing so there's that and then they're like elixir it's an oil now, I want to tell you about, I want to talk to you about this elixir because, again, I think a lot of people, um, as far as I can tell, they, they really enjoy this brand because of the elixirs or the oils that they use. These are feminine oils that are supposed to be used in your private area um, for, you know, for just um, an all day freshness and um, a nice sweet smell. 
Now, this oil comes in a lot of different fragrances. I want to say maybe eight to ten. Um, another thing is I want to say about this product is that a lot of people online who are reviewing it are talking about it being able to be used as a lubricant as well, like for you know sexual intimacy. It's able to be used as a lubricant and it's always and it also has a as a as a sweet taste. So for your partner, you know, it would have a sweet taste, but that's not how it's really advertised. So it comes in its own little sachet. Um, then it comes inside of a plastic bag. Then it comes in bubble wrap. Then you have your your um your oil. Now the fragrance I got is Luscious. I got Luscious. Um, it's one of the popular ones. Um, this is very sweet actually because I can smell it. I'm somebody who can't do too sweet and can't do too florally. This for me is like at my limit, like any more and it would have been like, okay, I can't tolerate that. Again, they all have different notes and things like that. Um, so I'm assuming that's gonna be your strongest smell. I have found no one to give like really good specific detail as to what this thing smells like. So I'm gonna be the one to let y'all know give you and something to reference to let you know what this what this one will remind you of as far as as far as the smell and better yet i'm gonna taste it so i can let y'all know for real if it is if it really does have a taste i'm about to i'm about to hook y'all up okay so like i said off the break i haven't even opened this and it is very strong um it's all up in my face right now it's actually all up in the room right now Okay. All right, so Luscious has notes of uh, coconut oil, it's marshmallow root, strawberry, raw sugar, vanilla, and lemon extract, um, and like a couple of other little things. Um, again, things that you can pronounce and are natural oils and things like that. Um, it says... It is 250 servings and a serving size is one drop. So you get more than enough. This is well over a month's worth of products. So you wouldn't need to like reorder this every month unless you just want to try a different scent each time. But you get more than enough. You only you only use two to three. No, you only use a dime size. So basically one drop two to three times a day. It doesn't go inside. It's only on top of your vulva and like maybe around your under your labia but that's it and throughout your you know throughout that area you don't insert it or anything it's of course the best to be used once you once you're actually clean and it says it's moisturizing neutralizing and deodorizing now this does not say anything there's nothing on here not in the directions and not in the just the information about the product it has nothing about it being edible and it says nothing about it being able to be used as a lubricant. All right, so um, description of what it actually smells like. This smells like, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. If you were born in the early 90s, like 91, 92, 93, and prior, you had a grandmother, a old school grandmother, the ones that you know, you made Sunday dinner every Sunday and every Sunday it looked like Thanksgiving dinner. When you were like 10 years old or under, your grandmother was already like 60 years old. Like that kind of grandmother. If you had that kind of grandmother and you would go to their house, they would have a coffee table or an end table. And on that table was a jar, a glass jar or a glass bowl. And in that glass jar or glass bowl was candy, hard candy. If you went to a good house... It had one of the most popular hard candies was a strawberry candy. It's red wrapper with little dots on it that mimic the seeds of a strawberry. And then the top of the wrapper was green, representing the leafy part of a strawberry. When you suck on that straw that 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 that, that candy, it was very sweet, very good. And then once you got it um got down to like the center, it was kind of chewy and gooey a little bit. That is what Luscious smells like. It smells like that candy tastes for the newer, the, the newer generation, okay? This smells like a soda, a fruity soda. 
it smells like strawberry Fanta. So you know you go and get you a nice cold bottle of strawberry Fanta out of a refrigerator and you turn it and open it and you hear the sizzle and you smell the fizzle come up. That's what that smells like. And I mean, it smells like that to the T. Um, Cause they say it's like a uh, strawberry sprinkled with sugar. And I think that's what they mean. That, that sizzle, that fizzle you get on your, in your nose, like up in your nostrils, um, that little tickle. That's what that, that's what it reminds you of. And it smells like strawberry Fanta. There you go. <laughs> that is the exact definite description of this smell to me. I mean, and who am I, right? But know that you can't lie. I gave you something to work with though, right? Now we're going to get into what Luscious tastes like. Does she really taste like anything? I'm going to take, I'm not going to even drop a, a dot on here. I'm just going to take what's coming off of the Doppler and put that little tiny bit on my hand. That's not even, it's like a pea size. And I'm going to rub it in. Um, and I'm actually glad I'm taking this out and rubbing it in because you know what? Because you guys know how you put like oil in your hair and then if some falls on your shirt or you touch your um, shirt with your hands, it's not like water. It doesn't dry up and disappear. It actually creates an oil stain and then now you got an oil stain. So I wanted to see if that's the case. But no, this actually dissolves right in to my skin. It's not leaving it greasy. It's not leaving it oily. So it smells really good. It actually cuts down the sweetness. So it's not as strong as it is in its, you know, raw form. Once it's on your body, it kind of, you know, mellows out a little bit to be a little bit more, you know, like less in your face. I could say another thing too about um, the reviews I heard about this. Is because you put it down in your perennial, perennial area or your vaginal area, every time you go use the bathroom, like, you know, you put your underwear down, every time you go use the bathroom, it like, you get a whiff of it. You know, you get like a bouquet of it in your face, which I think is pretty cool because have you ever used the bathroom behind somebody? And sometimes people's urine is like strong, so it leaves like a smell. So I think that's kind of cool because then you're going to leave like a little fragrant smell behind you. So that's pretty cool. But OK, so let's see what this tastes like. OK. taste anything I don't even taste a hint of anything sweet I don't taste anything I mean this is what I'm thinking you know how people say they smell something so much or it smells so good I can taste it I think I mean as far as I'm concerned when you get close to it it just gets a little bit I mean you really smell it because you're so close to it so I'm assuming of course if somebody's tasting this you know they're face to face with it you know so um it just is more it's just more in your face so now it's like as if you put this up to your face but it's not it doesn't have a taste I don't taste anything I don't even taste anything partially sweet like maybe a little bit of like a sugary sweet taste like even on the tip of my tongue you gotta shake this thing up let me see so let me try it for you guys more you know Drastically, I did. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. It doesn't, um, mm-mm. It tastes like oil, perfumed oil. That's what it tastes like. It doesn't make you want to just, like, still be tasting it because it tastes so good, if you know what I mean. Like, it doesn't, it's not doing that. Also, for me personally, I don't think I'm somebody who would want to smell that every time, like every day. This wouldn't be like an everyday thing for me. Now, they do have one other fragrance that I'm aware of that is not supposed to be like a sweet one. It's supposed to, they say it smells more like baby powder. That one I could see being like my everyday use. The baby powder one probably would be more, um, I don't know practical for me now um another thing i wanted to say when you order if you order this monthly maintenance kit as well as some of the other kits i think that come with an elixir you can choose the elixir you want that's the one thing you can choose these elixirs are like 24.99 a piece so you're kind of better off with a kit because if i was to have purchased all of these things separately it would have been way more than what i paid and i only paid like 50 something dollars because i had a coupon code i think that's it that's all i got for you guys i will see you in my next video which will be whatever comes in i'm gonna do a review you on again there's stuff there they're basically things that I've either ordered online from advertisements or um, 
ads that you know the ads that pop up on instagram and facebook and stuff like that so i'll be able to share that with you guys and give you a real live you know honest review so see you next time bye